Hey guys, what's going on? This is Benjamin with Benjamin Exotics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this new DIY baby ball python rack that I just made out of melamine. Now, this guy was actually completed yesterday, and as you guys can see, I'll turn the camera around and get you guys up close. This is a full rack done completely out of melamine, which is basically just like a particle board uh, that has a coating on the outside that prevents from moisture getting in, or at least it's supposed to prevent, because as you guys probably know, melamine will expand over time if it gets too wet but as you guys can see it is exactly five shelves high and each shelf holds six of these six quart sterilite tubs which are perfect for probably baby ball pythons until they're probably around this size right here and this is just a little pastel clown male cruising around inside there uh, he was actually giving me some feeding problems but he's doing pretty good now but as you guys can see really nice rack now there are a few things that I regret Regret or that I would have done differently in building this rack that I want to share with you guys. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys that I really kind of regret, and if I could, I would do over with this rack, is cutting. Now when I say cutting, I got all of these sheets that you see in big sheets of four foot by around eight foot. I think it's actually 96.96 inches. So I had to cut all of this stuff down myself. I did have a little bit of assistance from a friend of mine, but what we did is we took the boards and at first we were using a jigsaw to cut them out, and the problem with using a jigsaw saw, which is just kind of a saw that has a blade that goes up and down like this, is that the blade was actually bending because the melamine, you know, is so, I guess, basically hard on the blade, and it really just wasn't giving us straight cuts, and as you guys can see, especially like on this one on the bottom, you can really see how it's straight at the back, but at the very front when we were getting started, it has this huge uh, gap, whereas it, when we switched saws, when we used a normal table saw, we are getting cuts that were more like that, and more like that guy that are just completely straight. And yeah, it's not the prettiest thing ever, but it's not, you know, going to be something that's going to affect the rack too much. But again, it certainly doesn't look the best. And you can even see right here, again, where we were using the jigsaw. It's just not straight. So after I switched, or I should say we switched, to using a normal table saw, you know, with a big spinning blade, the cuts were just completely perfect. Now, it was taking off a little bit more material in terms of where it was cutting, whereas the jigsaw was not taking off too much material, uh, which is completely fine. But it did also also affect us a little bit but overall the table saw was a hundred times better than trying to use the jigsaw and you can also see that with uh, the back now I purposely did want there to be a crack in the back of this rack because the um, heat probes have to have somewhere to come in and I didn't really want to try to feed it through the front or drill too many holes so just with that little crack I can choose whichever um, you know shelf that I need for the probe to go through and it's not going to be too much of a problem. We just have this rack stacked up on top of this rack right here, which is pretty cool. Now, it doesn't fit perfectly, as you guys will see. There's a little leg on that side, and then over on this side, it kind of hangs off around, you know, four inches, something like that, going off the side. But on the bottom, you guys know these are more for sub-adults, and these will be for babies. And these tubs should be able to hold anywhere from one-week-old ball pythons all the way up to two, three, and even four-month-old ball pythons just depending on their size. So overall, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And like I said, there will be a few more racks, kind of like this, just for different tub sizes that I'll be building over the next week to few months that you guys can also see. And tell me, guys, do you want to see a DIY, how to build one of these? Because I didn't get too much filming down for this in terms of cutting and screwing and stuff, but I do have a few other racks, like I just said, that are going to be built pretty soon in the next week or so. You guys tell me down in the comment section below if you'd like to see any DIY, how to, you know, full through with all steps and everything to do a rack just like this one. Could you guys do a few quick fares before we go? Get your down and make sure to smash that like button and also the big red subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave all of those down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video.